you'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. What's up guys, heading out to a semi-local spot that I don't fish all that often. I'm at my current house for like two more weeks and then I'm moving about an hour east. So, I'm trying to hit up some of these spots while I'm still out here. My main objective for the day is to build up some confidence in my crawler. I see a lot of guys just killing it on the crawlers and I've thrown mine here and there, but today I'm gonna try and dedicate the whole day to throw on that thing. Uh, conditions are looking good. Supposed to be an overcast all day, some light winds, so can't ask for much better conditions than that. It's like mid 50s right now, but it's gonna warm up quick, get into the eight, low 80s uh, around noon or so. Uh, I'd imagine the water is like mid 70s, so let's see what happens. What the f***, dude. These blow-ups are insane. <sighs> Jesus. I'm getting the most aggressive blow-ups on this crawler. I've caught one, but I've already missed three. I'm not sure if it's the back hook that's kind of dull, or if it's this propeller that's blocking the bite put on a new sharp DRT hook on the back. Hope that that helps. Oh, fuck. I think I f***ed up trying to switch sides, just flipped it over this way to try and get it on the side my net was sitting on. I'm still missing fish, and I'm missing big fish. It's got this little propeller on the back. I'm not sure if it could be blo blocking that back hook. So I'm just gonna rip the fucking thing off. All right, I ripped that propeller off the back. That back hook is wide open now. Let's see if that helps. Boat side eat right there. Heavy four, maybe. Or four. Just getting a little nervous for a while. Ripped that propeller off. Haven't got a bite in two hours. 
That one just ate right by the boat. Luckily, stuck it. Biggest one yet, 4-4. Four, four. Definitely taking that off affects, you know, the action, and you don't get that, like, little whopper plopper action, but having that hook fully exposed, I think I like better. Crazy, you get these fish pretty similar in length, but one's pretty healthy, the other one, not so much. My goal today was to build confidence in my crawler. I would say mission successful. Um, some of the most aggressive blow-ups I've seen. I wish I landed more of those fish. I think I missed four or five. I'll have to look at the footage. Um, one, one, I think maybe two of them were pretty decent fish, but I was happy to at least land that four. Yeah, after missing a few, I swapped out the hooks not exactly sure what was on here, but I swapped them out with uh, the DRT Sharks one aught. These things are like razors. The other hooks were a little smaller, but and I also bent off that propeller that, in my head at least, I think might have been blocking that back hook a little. I don't know. It might have just been hitting the bait weird. I've seen big fish caught on this with that propeller on there, so I don't know. In my mind, it helps that rear hook hook up a little bit better but who really knows kind of kicking myself for I felt those hooks earlier and they felt kind of dull I need to stop being lazy with those little little things make a big difference so and that other good one I had I tried to swing it over on the other side of the boat to get get it on the side my net was on and then it came up and shook should have just stuck to the side I was on, kept my rod tip in the water, and probably would have landed that fish. But these are the little mistakes I learned from watching this footage back. So the goal is to try and make less and less mistakes every time I go out. So you're not living if you're not learning. A guy named Jer makes these. Uh, he's in Massachusetts, I believe. Um, this is a two piece. He also makes a one piece. Um, super cool swimming action. I'll put some footage in there. Looks like freaking. Michael Phelps out there <laughs> swimming away. And, um, look him up on Facebook if you want. If you send him some feet pics, you, you got a better chance of getting the bait. <laughs> place I'm fishing is just filled with stumps, but they're like stumps with like a root system where the fish like hide underneath. And like well, last time I came here, I was throwing the 250 over these stumps and the fish, I would see the fish come out from underneath them and follow the bait to the boat. So this time I was trying to throw the crawler way over the stumps before I got too close to them. Unlike last time, I, I think I was getting too close to those stumps and the fish would follow up to the boat and I didn't have enough line out to get them to eat before they saw the boat. So this time I was trying to spot those stumps from far away as possible so I could toss that crawler over the top of them. Yeah, good guy that makes these baits. His, his son is a hell of a fisherman. Uh, Gussie is his name. I, I'll link down. He has his own little YouTube channel. It's awesome. I'll link that below too so you guys can check it out. Give him a follow. But yeah, this is actually the only crawler I have so far. So I wanted, I see guys killing it on crawlers all the time. So I finally got to pick one of these up and uh, I've been throwing it here and there but haven't got bit on it much so I'm like I gotta just dedicate a day to just throwing the crawler so that's pretty much what I did today and it, I got my confidence up on it already so I'll be throwing it a lot more often I like throwing it more when there's a little bit of chop on the water uh, bait like this I don't really want to throw when it's like glass like a more subtle bait but this like right now it's just a little choppy and that's when I've been getting bit so I'm going to shut up and go try and catch some more fish.